All right, I think we're rolling. Uh, welcome back, y'all, to the Driven by Christ <clears throat> art section. As you can tell, I've been kind of sick. I know I ain't put up a video in about a week, but you wouldn't have been able to hear me anyways. I end up getting some type of sinus stuff going on, but, you know, luckily with prayer, I got over it pretty quick. But, uh... What today we're going to be going over is the most important commandment. This is going to be covered in Luke chapter 10, verse 25 through 28. All right. So, one day an expert in religious law stood up to test Jesus by asking him. That's not a good thing to do. You don't want to test Jesus. Teacher, what should I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus replied, What does the law of Moses say? How do, you, how do you read it? The man answered, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength, and all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. Jesus, Jesus told him, You're right. Do this, and you will live. The man then asked him, Then who is the neighbor? The man asked. They are the ones who do not overlook the people in need, but help them in an, a Christ-like loving way. Now that's, that's the main thing here. Christ-like love is for everyone. You should love everyone. Do not let their status be your decision whether to help or minister to them, meaning their status, whether if they're rich or poor, or if they got fancy car or fancy house, no matter what, you should always minister to them. Or if it's convenient for you to go out of your way to help your neighbor, you know, don't, don't be putting it off. If you can help somebody today, don't try to wait till, till tomorrow because tomorrow is not promised. Tomorrow may not ever come, especially... Ooh, Lord, especially with the stuff that's going on now, right now, and you hear about and going on in Israel, but that's that's a whole nother thing. Do not let race or culture hinder you in helping and show them Christ-like love and help them. Christ-like love is an action and should be shared with everyone. All right, so that's pretty self-explanatory you know um you know if you see somebody in need you're out in public you're out in walmart or whatever most of the time people are not going to even really acknowledge you're there whenever you become a christ follower and i know this from personal experience it feels like you're just walking alone like you there's a thousand people around you but it's like you're just there by yourself but if everybody had, you know, if everybody helped each other and showed Christ-like love to each other, we would not feel like this. But we're going to go ahead and get started with the pour today. We got some really cool colors. Uh, my wife is not going to be in here helping me today. She, uh, she actually had to go to the emergency room yesterday and left here in the ambulance. Uh, she ended up having a seizure, but, um, you know, with a lot of prayer, I broke out my prayer book. I bend over the side of that bed and I prayed in, in secrecy in between me and my God. And not even a couple of hours later, they were dismissing her and she's come home and she's been resting since then. So God answered my prayers. I was really worried about her. She ain't never done got that bad before but the first color you you're going to be able to see it more and once we start pouring it but this is like an electric blue best way i can explain it is like that metallic blue that honda likes using on their honda civic si's really good color then i also got a pearl white which uh for the little viewers on here pearl white is like a a white with a what's got like little sparkles of different little colors in it not not so much as glitter they're finer than glitter it's they're they're you'll you'll see it whenever we get it out and then i have metallic silver which um it's basically like a silver paint uh with a metal flake in it a real fine metal flake now 
what we're going to do is we're going to be using got one of our other little nifty little tools in it's a uh, it's a three part container that you can use to pour with it's got the little pour spout and everything else now a lot of people are wondering well okay how much paint do I use try to whenever you use this it depends on your canvas size but for this cup you want to you want to get it pretty full to make sure you got enough paint to cover up your whole canvas Lord have mercy it's like I got dust all over you gotta make sure that gets off of there because you'll have all types of stuff in your paintings I think it come off of this little rubber cup so we're gonna try not to put that over the paint well, in fact let me move it I know where to do it and I think y'all can see it right yeah we'll just do it right there I'm still using a phone guys I ain't, ain't gifted enough yet to be able to get a camera and a full setup but you know what this is working so I'm happy with it so now how you put these colors in here it don't really matter just remember be easy whenever you're putting them in don't like put a huge squirt force behind it so you start out you just put it in there and layer the bottom put your one layer in and go to the next one you can put the uh, white one in. you can see how much you're putting into there you can see the line from the other paint next to it if you're putting too much or too little once you see that line disappear you can come to a stop same thing with the silver and I'm going to do this on the other end of the table because I notice in a lot of the videos that I am in the way and I'm not really trying to be but I'm going to try to get this one right. Alright. Looks like it'd be good with silver. So you got white, blue, silver. So we're going to try to go with a... We're going to do some white over the silver. Now whenever you do this, be easy with it whenever you put it in there. Don't don't get crazy and, and squirt it where you're mixing your paint all up. Because if you're doing this with like bright colors like orange and pink are the worst about muddying up your uh, your your surface. And sometimes this paint that you're putting in there, you can tell if it's thick or not because it'll fall right through the other paint. So try to get your paint consistencies as close as you possibly can to each other and evenly cover them. But if you mess up, it ain't no big deal. That's the whole point in art. Sometimes a mess up can make something look really good afterwards. Because my wife, uh, she is a prime example of that. She will, she will do some stuff and I will be absolutely losing it. Wondering how in the world is that going to come out right. And let's just say it turns out better than mine. So... So I give her credit for for her mess ups. Now we know we ain't got any any blue in this one, so we're gonna come over top of it with a blue again. I'm gonna get this blue in there because that is one of my favorite colors is this blue. What we got? I'm gonna put the pearl white on top of here. What I'm doing is I'm looking through the side of this cup. I know, guys, I'm shaking a little bit. It's been a, been a rough, rough time. My nerves have been shot ever since yesterday. I was so worried about my wife, but God pulled me through. But I'm still, I had to carry her out of the house. So, y'all already know I got a pretty bad back. I got four discs that are messed up in my back. So, me trying to carry her out probably wasn't the best idea, but it was the only way she was getting out of this house. So I had to do what I had to do. He gave me the strength to do it. I'm just paying for it the next day. But we are getting these colors into there. Boy, I'm ready to see how this is going to turn out. This is going to be amazing here. All right. And this is also similar to the first colors that I ever poured. My very first pour art was done with these same colors. So 
But I can already tell some of these colors are thicker than others. They're they're kind of bleeding through the side. I wish I could show y'all, but I can't. We'll lift it up and turn it to the side or else it's all going to pour out. But whenever you do it, you'll see what I'm talking about. Hold on. We're going to get the paint back over there. But yes, Christ-like love is for all. If you see somebody that's in help, in fact, before I got sick in between here, I think my last video, I don't know if I brought it up, there was a woman on the side of the road, a younger teenager. She was, she was younger than I was. Hold on, let me look at this camera because this is going to be important. Anyway, she was broke down on the side of the road and I saw all them little children in the back and I ain't stopped and picked up nobody off the side of the road in a while because of an incident that happened to me whenever I was a teenager but I felt it in my chest hey you need to stop and, and help her make sure you stop and help people if you if you get that 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 feeling now God will warn you you know sometimes will bait people will bait you into stopping and helping them like what happened to me and they'll, they'll, they can rob you, but just have faith in God and he'll protect you all the way, no matter what happens. All right, we're going to get ready. Let me uh, grab a few more of my stuff and get some of this water. I'm sorry, my voice is choppy. We're just going to get on with this pour. All right, let me pick it up and take it over here. These cups are kind of flimsy, so don't. If you can find the cups that are not rubber, that would probably be the best thing. Now remember, whenever you want this table on a balance, like you don't want your table leading to one side, or else your paint's going to run off to there. But we are just going to go straight for the center, and we're going to pour as slowly as possible. Right there in the center. Just go as slow as possible. Because other colors are going to come out. If you see it getting more paint on one side, kind of bring it over and start dropping the paint over there. Because you never know how it's going to turn out. Kind of spread it out a little bit. The only reason why I'm moving back and forth is to spread the paint. Not to mention it leaves a pretty cool little design in it too. Real cool design. See, I can already tell that pearl white and that blue is is mixing with each other and it's making like a lighter blue. It looks really, really good. I love these colors. These are some of my favorite colors. I don't know. I'm starting to like all my colors now. I just, I mean, if you want some stuff to go on, just kind of spread it on out. Pour it and come back into the center. Any type of design that you put into there is what's going to stay in there. But it'll also change too whenever you spin it. Alright, we're going to start letting. We got most of that out of the cup. And you see how your paint ran over to here? And pull it, kind of stretch it back. Stretch it back this way. Get it back over here. And let it go back into that corner. Pull it back this way. Once you kind of get a center point design, you can start spinning this. And it should pull it out. But what we're going to do is we're going to actually add some paint to the edges so this paint has something to run over. So come around the edge. What in the world is going on here? Okay. Okay, somehow this is all jammed up now. I don't know what jammed it up, but anyways, here we go. And it still ain't doing it. Okay, maybe God's telling me don't even do that. We'll just take this thing and we'll go ahead and spin it. Remember, if you got other stuff on the table, guys, don't don't get to spinning it too much because if you do it will it's definitely going to put a lovely coating of paint all over it and sometimes I got my my bobble up there 
So, all right. See, some of this stuff didn't necessarily want to do right. So, if you got a corner that, that that's got paint and it didn't want to come over it, just don't bend it over too much. Just bend it over enough where you can get it rolling towards that corner, like back to here. You can take your finger and give the paint the surface to something to kind of glide on just like that and then put it back down give her another spin and then slow it down there you go and well, now we're going to pick up paint off the table if i can find my little tool which my wife was in here messing with everything again and now it's not there that's like man biggest thing in the in i guess in in the world to be prepared I mean right now I'm I thought I had my tools and stuff over here and and they're not but that's all right so now what we're doing is we're dressing up the edges we're just going around making sure the edges got a good coating on them if it don't have any don't don't scrape it off the surface pick it up from off of the table because there's a lot of paint that likes getting all over the surface of the table and just put it on there scrape the edges real good because you don't want it dragging any of any more of your paint off if you see a pretty color that you like if you want more more pearl pick it up and bring it on over here and slap it down on the side just like that oh yeah that looks that looks good there i love this one i'm already liking it I'm going to, the next ones that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to try to get back into the, to the cell art where it makes all the little bubbles and shifts of colors and I like those too, but, uh, we've been trying to stay with some basic stuff because we want to make this affordable as we can for y'all to do this. Um, most of my wife's really good, you know, uh, metallic and pearl paint stuff that they're completely robbing people at Walmart with you can get it offline for a whole case of the colors I mean all types of colors for like 30 bucks that stuff that I showed y'all in a few videos back if you want to use it for reference and get it oh man dude that looks like a marble top counter that is that's beautiful there that is beautiful and whenever you're correcting your your paint on here try not to sling your canvas around or turn it too much you just don't want gravity to be pulling on it and changing your changing your outcome i never would have thought it would have come out looking like this after i poured it that way but this is i don't know looks like a heavenly sky almost like you're looking up into the sky it's got a lot of positive feeling that comes out of this but Anyways, guys, I hope y'all like the poor and remember, you know, Christ-like love is for everybody. Even, I mean, if, if you got an enemy out there and it's hard for you to love an enemy, I know it is because I've been there, pray for them. Pray for them to get better so they are not your enemy no more. But always try to help others in need, even if you think that they don't deserve it, like, you know, there, there could be a guy outside of the store. You may assume, well, if I give that man money, he's just going to go in there and go buy booze. Well, I mean, he may actually do that. But pray for this man. You know, let hopefully God will reach out and touch his heart. You know, maybe he'll take that money and do something positive with it, make a change in his life. But how can you, ex how can people expect change when nobody makes a different input if you always walk past a person in need well they're always going to be in need they're they're never going to have what they need but god will provide for you but anyways guys i hope y'all like this i hope y'all like the the poor art um the message today uh really means a lot we all should be helping each other the world would be a lot better place if we helped each other and uh, until till next time god bless i hope y'all enjoyed